you have had an amazing week welcome to Lois's kitchen where we make amazing mouth-watering dishes if you're a new subscriber welcome to this family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back for clicking the like button for sharing our content and even for commenting in the comment section so guys today we're going to be making matoke Matokes are made from green bananas and we're going to go to the ingredients of the day. Our first ingredient is green bananas which I've already peeled and this water is salty cold water. So usually I put in cold salty water so that um, it doesn't oxidize and become dark. I'm going to show you how I peel my bananas so that you can get this smooth um, texture. Then our second ingredient is we have some vegetable oil, but I'm going to use some more. This is just for the peeling process. Then we have, I'm going to be using potatoes for my recipe. This is optional. And then I'm going to be using some peas. This is also optional. So for our spices, we have um, tomato paste. We have curry powder we have turmeric and we have beef masala and we have one cube here tomatoes which are blended we have some onion here two onions then we have some salt that we're going to put to taste then i have some coriander or dania a clove of garlic and we have some green pepper you can use different kind of peppers whatever is available to you please feel free I'm going to take some vegetable oil and apply on my hands. This usually helps stuff from the banana not to stick on your hands. So once that is done, then you can start with the peeling. And basically that is it. As long as you have cold, salty water, then you're good because I'm going to peel and just put it there. Usually I prefer starting from this side and then coming up, it's easier for me. So I peel, I don't go so much to the inside because I prefer doing a second round. But now I come to clean up the banana and removing the green substances. So now this is now the second round. When now I come removing anything that I had left the first time just because I don't want to lose so much of the banana and that is it so we have our well peeled banana
watched my previous video, I showed you how I make my peanut sauce. Um, it's this consistency and I want it a little bit um, wet because I don't want to over mix my matoke. So I usually add a little bit of water and then mix in just so that I can loosen it up. If um, by the time you're cooking the matokes, um, you haven't made the sauce, you can just grind your peanuts and use it as grounded um, peanuts. So that is also okay. But this is something you guys should really try. It's really, really nice. So at least this is better. So once I put it in the matoke, it will be easier to um, be absorbed in inside the matoke. As you can see, there it is. You can use as much or as little as you like. Just add a little bit of water. And if you're allergic to nuts, just uh, know that this is optional, so you don't have to. My matokes are already ready, so I only want to incorporate the sauce inside. So I'll not over stir because I don't want to mash. So I'll let it heat up. That that point at that point, then I'll mix up and then give it again two minutes so that the soup can blend in with the um, peanut sauce. So I'll see you guys in two minutes. Yes. Guys, welcome back. It's been two minutes and the peanut butter sauce has been absorbed. As you can see, even the soup is thicker. I don't want to stir. And remember we had some coriander or dania. So I'm going to on top like that put off my gas and with the heat that that food has that will be enough to take the fragrance into the food and then we're going to serve and then meet you guys after that guys our meal is ready our peanut matoke is ready and it's smelling amazing this dish is very simple guys as you saw it was just putting everything together it was not complicated i'm sure you guys are going to do it so i want to taste and it's nice it's amazing it's delicious thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for sharing thank you guys for writing comments in the past if you're a new subscriber please write in the comment section say you're a newbie and you've joined the family write and say if you've ever tried this recipe if it's a new recipe if you're going to try it and how you're going and how the results were or your expectations met otherwise guys have a lovely day or evening and see you guys in the next video. Bye!